Hello YouTube. Um, yeah, I haven't done a video for a while because we've been busy moving the business to here. Uh, so welcome to the new office. Um, all the videos from before were filmed at offices we rented. We, we used to rent office space and storage space. Um, but what we've had done is we've converted what was our garage. This was our garage. Uh, on the side of our house, we had a, a, a big garage. So it's like a double length garage, the whole length of the house. And we've had that professionally turned into interior space. So we've had a new door put in, which is, if I just swing the iMac back around, that door never used to be there. That goes through to the house. Uh, at the front, we've got a huge window, which looks out to the front of our house. Uh, and then down this side, it's hard to see on here, there's currently eight bays of racking which houses stock. We're going to get some more up this end. And then on this side, we're going to build, in the process of building, a packing area and a processing area and somewhere to do photography. So it's quite, compared to what we had, it's quite tight. But I've got a lot of storage, the whole loft is boarded and strip lights are up there and everything, so we've got overspill space in the loft. Um, but yeah, this is where we're going to do all our business from now, which means we have absolutely zero overheads again, which is fantastic. Um, so we've got more freedom really from it because we have no big bills and overheads to pay from renting any uh, office space anymore. Um, so yeah, this is new office. Um, we're still in the process of sorting it out, so it may change uh, through the videos as we move stuff around and, and make ourselves comfortable. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do, I wanted to answer some questions in response to uh, Larry Master, who was wanted to know about expanding, um, and expanding a business like this is a is a difficult one, really. Um, like I say, we expanded what we used to do on the on the high street uh, and it's it's a difficult procedure expanding a business because inevitably it means taking on staff and that's from my personal experience that's not an easy thing to do and it's an incredibly expensive thing to do um, and obviously you have to really weigh up is taking somebody on going to be uh, worthwhile because you have to, they have to add to your business obviously enough turnover to pay for their entire yearly salary. Um, and with minimum wage being what it is now, that's, that's not cheap. Just to take on um, somebody at minimum wage is expensive. Um, so we, at the moment, are not thinking of doing that. If anything, we, we've, we've shrunk our business down because it gives us complete freedom, really. And the bigger you expand a business, the more it takes over your life and it kind of controls your time. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really the right person to ask about expanding a business. I follow a guy on YouTube called Dallas Moore who does pretty much what I do in America, but he's on a bigger scale and he he talks about expanding his business and has some great ideas he he outsources listing his stock um, to like far eastern guys who, who just get a sort of template and list it for him and it sounds fantastic but for me keeping it just me and my wife and now running it completely from home um, just means that we control our work completely it is of a size where we, we can completely control it. If we went on holiday for two weeks, we wouldn't have a load of overheads or staff to keep paying for or, or had the worry of the business. We can just go at any point. We can take days off or you know start and stop when we want. Um, so it suits us. Um, the other thing that uh, Larry was asking about was selling off eBay. Um, have I done that and what are my thoughts? Yes, we went down the road of having our own website, but this was this was quite a while ago. This was um, getting on for 10 years ago now, I guess. And back then it wasn't as simple as it was now, and it's quite an expensive thing to do to set up our own website. And the thing was, we found we couldn't compete with the traffic 
and the amount of sales on eBay and Amazon. Um, so we found it, it didn't really pay off. The thing is these days it's so cheap to get a website. You can set up your own website for nothing uh, and doing an e-commerce website is really cheap if not free as well. I mean I've used um, Weebly.com um, for little websites quite recently uh, just to promote what my wife does um, and it took me an afternoon to, to write a website. Um, and this is just to promote how we buy clothing locally from, from the general public. And it's a site which I set up which just shows how we do things and a map of where we are, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so yeah, I mean, as for selling off eBay, there's, there's lots of ways of doing it. Facebook apparently is a really great way of selling stuff now. And I, I haven't got into that yet. And that's obviously free. Um, but selling on your own website, um, the trouble is, the, the beauty of eBay and the reason so many people buy on eBay is because they trust it. Um, and buying kind of blind from somebody on a website is all about trust. And with eBay and PayPal, they, they've set up a very trustworthy site, if you like. And you can't compete with that. You can't compete with the traffic and the trust that people have invested in that. So again, I, I think people complain all the time about eBay fees, but um, if you have a shop, I mean, I pay to have a shop on eBay, which means I get certain advantages and I don't find it's that expensive because for me to have a listing on Buy It Now, which is what I use, um, it cost me 10 pence per month. And then I have access to the Good Till Cancelled option, which means if I list whatever it is, I put an item on and that's on there. I don't sell calculators, that was just on the desk. Um, that's on there for 10 pence for every month. And if it doesn't sell with the Good Till Cancelled, it just stays on there. So no more work, no anything. You, you can just leave things until they sell. What I tend to do is, is leave it a month and then assess it. How many views has it had? Is it too expensive? Mark it down. And so for a year, to have something advertised worldwide for a year cost me £1.20. Um, and I think you can't beat that. It's There are obviously fees at the end. Um, your final listing or your, what do they call it, the, the fee that they take, the percentage they take when something sells, can't remember what they call it now. Um, and there's fees of, from PayPal, which, which all add up, but when you break it down, I mean, coming from a retail background and knowing how much it costs to, to just have a bricks and mortar shop sitting there, the fact that my subscription and my fees for eBay compared to what I used to pay out to have a shop and to pay rates and to pay obviously the rent and all of the overheads and staffing costs you know it was an absolute fortune so I coming from that background I see eBay as incredibly cheap for the service and uh, the reach and the, the amount of customers I can reach I think it's quite cheap. Um, so yeah, as for selling off eBay, I, I think you can't beat eBay. You can't beat eBay for the amount of people it, it gets you to and the amount of trust they have invested in the site. Um, so yeah, that's that's in response to uh, Larry Master's question. So thanks for that. Keep watching. Uh, if there's anything else you want me to talk about, I'm happy to. Um, and that's kind of it for today, really, um, or for this video anyway. So yeah, welcome to the new office. Like I say, we're, it's a work in progress, so things will be changing all around us. I've got all of this stuff to build down here, which really I should be doing now, but I'm making a video instead. Um, so yeah, keep watching. Uh, if you haven't watched me before, please subscribe and look at my other videos. Um, I'm a full-time eBay reseller based in the UK. I do this for a living. I've done it for many, many years, and I've decided to come onto YouTube and share what I do in the hope that it will help people to to make some money. There's, there's so much opportunity on eBay making money just reselling other people's secondhand stuff. I've been doing it for years and we make a good living doing this. 
Um, so yeah, subscribe and check out my other videos. There'll be lots more to come. Uh, so thanks for watching and bye for now.